All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on New Year's resolutions. I know a lot of people hate that. I don't particularly like resolutions myself. Uh, what I did instead for this year, and I've kind of been doing it just in my mind, is a letter to 2018. If you go to my Instagram, if you go to my Facebook, you'll see the letter. It's titled Dear 2018, and it's just... Uh, it's kind of a letter to 2018 as if 2018 was reading my letter. Uh, but it's really just me reflecting on what kind of person I want to be and what kind of goals I want to accomplish. I know this is a little bit unrelated to dog training, but uh, as a dog trainer or even a dog person, what I suggest that you do is that you try to become a better uh, dog trainer, a better dog person, a better dog owner, if you're just a dog owner. You don't want to just be the same old boring person year after year after year. You may not have a problem with that, but if you do follow pages like this, if you do watch dog training videos, if you read books, you're more than just the average dog person. So be better as a dog trainer. Be better as a dog person. And here's one challenge I have for you. My one challenge, if you had to put it on the list, but my one challenge is that you read a at least two books, bare minimum two books on dogs, dog training, dogs, um, anything like that. But there's a little bit more to that. Read two books that challenge you. And by that, I mean, look at different views that you are not comfortable with. So if you are a balanced trainer and you think all purely positive training is bullshit, read a book written by a purely positive um, author. You know, there are a lot of books. There are authors like you've got, um, you know, Gene Donaldson. You've got um, um, Don't Shoot the Dog written by uh, Mrs. Pryor, Karen Pryor. You've got books, if I'm not mistaken, written by um, Ian Dunbar. Dunbar. Not a big fan myself, but this is something I would challenge myself to do. Um, so do that. If you're a balanced trainer and you like e-collars, don't just read books on e-collars. That's great. It furthers your education. But challenge yourself to look at a different perspective. Same thing. If you're a purely positive trainer, read a book written by a balanced training author. Maybe go as far as reading a, a book on e-collars. Um, you know, get some... Uh, get a different perspective. And even if you freaking hate it, you can at least tell yourself, well, I read that book. I don't like it. I hate it even more now. But that's fine, right? You can still hate it. Just it's about hating it, but be informed as to why you hate it. And you'll realize that whether you're a balanced trainer or a purely positive trainer, we don't have that much. Um, and if we're truly committed to our dogs and our craft, we have a lot in common. So that's my challenge to you. And I will apply this to myself as well, is just read and learn things that just make me uncomfortable, things that, you know, make you a little bit uncomfortable, not weird, not, 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 nothing that will freak you out. But obviously, I mean, different perspective. Okay, it's my challenge to you. And, uh, and I will do the same.